Hi everyone, my name is Ellen and I posted on the school SLP Facebook page about this activity, uh, a picture of my activity for Pete the Cat. And I've been getting a lot of requests for more information about the activity and my demo lesson, etc. So I figured it'd just kind of be easiest to make a video and show you guys exactly what I did. So that way you can kind of see it in action. Uh, it's a little bit hard to describe without showing. So I figured the video will help. So this is what I did. So I bought a piece of foam core board at Staples and I cut it down with a razor just a little bit. I thought it was a little bit too big, um, but if you guys have a bigger Pete the Cat, then go for it, keep it big. Uh, so what I have here is I went on Google Images, found a picture of Pete um, and blew it up in, in a Word document and printed it out. Um, as big as I could, I think on eight and a half by 11 paper. And if you can take it to Staples or something, you can probably get them even bigger. So I have Pete and I laminated him, cut him out. I also have strawberries. I think they're nice and big and colorful and they're, they're clearly strawberries, so I like that. I have blueberries and a bucket of water and mud. My brother's wife, who is a preschool teacher, she's also a master teacher, just suggested to write the words on each of the items. And again, that can help promote phonological awareness skills. Okay, so I have a Velcro space for Pete. You don't really have to do that. You can even just glue him on there. But I thought maybe I would want to take him off and move, and move him around. I ended up not doing that, but maybe you guys will want to do that. So that's just a suggestion. All right. I also have a piece of Velcro at the bottom for each of these individual pieces that you can just Velcro on. All right, so also I made these shoes. So there's four colors and four shoes of each color, okay? So when I, I went to Walmart and I bought just foam um, paper. I don't even know what it's called, but it's about $5. It's in the craft section. And I just traced it with a pencil on the foam and cut out each of the individual pieces. I also went to the dollar store and got a blue bag, get whatever color bag you want, doesn't matter. And at Barnes and Noble, I got uh, Pete. He's like 18 bucks, he's really not a necessity. I just kind of went above and beyond for this demo lesson since I had a job on, on the line and hopefully it paid off. <laughs> uh, also I got Pete the Cat, I love my white shoes. I love this book. I love that it's colorful. I love that it's preschool appropriate. Um, I love that it has a song in it and the kids can sing and be involved. And there's just so many different language skills or Arctic, whatever you're working on, goals to target. So uh, color concepts, basic concepts like, um, like fruits, uh, opposites like clean and dirty um, there's a lot you can you can run with it okay so I love this book uh, and when I so this is kind of how my activity went so I sat down in a rocking chair had the kids all around me and tried to get them interested in what I was doing so I said, ooh, they didn't, they didn't know me, I was new, so I said, ooh, I brought you guys something special, I brought you guys a surprise, and I had Pete in the bag, and I kind of, I had Pete in the bag, and I just kind of shook him, I peeked inside the bag, and I said, oh, ooh, I wonder what it could be, what do you guys think it's gonna be, like, get them all excited, and then I said, oh, I think he's moving, oh my gosh, something's moving in there, took him out, and they, they were all happy, and I said, like, um, what is it, um, do you guys know what this is? And they were all yelling cat and I said, you could, you could add silly things, you know, um, like, oh, my cat doesn't wear shoes. Does your cat wear shoes? Or what does the cat say? Does the cat say woof, woof, or, you know, something, be silly, get them, the crazier and more wrong you are, the more they love it. Okay, so that was kind of my hook. Then I started with a book and I, I tried to lay down some ground rules before I started saying things like, this, just so they knew what to expect from me. I said, um, we're all, 
I'm going to talk and then you're going to have a turn to talk. We're all going to have a turn to talk today. But first, I need you to listen to me. I need you to show me that you guys can be good listeners, something like that. Then I, my brother's wife, who's a preschool teacher, she says, always hold the book from the bottom, show the kids the book. Point to the words on the page, just for the title page, not throughout the whole story. Um, I love my white shoes, say it out loud. And um, also it's good to introduce the author and the illustrator. So I said something like the author, that's the guy that writes the words. He's Eric Litwin and the illustrator, he's the guy that draws the pictures is James Dean. And then something also just to get them interested in the book, kind of start off with some WH questions like, who do you think the story is going to be about? Or what is Pete wearing on his feet? You know, stuff like that. Then uh, the next page, I just kind of did a picture walk, it's called. So I just tried to show, show the kids what was on the next page. Um, I wonder, are these peach shoes? Something like that. Um, what do you see on this page? Uh, I, I had a post-it note right here. It's a good idea if you wanna put some post-its so you guys can remember what questions you're targeting. If you're working on WH questions or positional concepts, like where's Pete? Is he on the top or on the bottom? Or where's the bird? Stuff like that. Okay, again, introduce the title again. Then I just started reading. Don't wanna completely bombard them with questions. I love how colorful this book is and it's just really cute. I think it has a really good lesson too about teaching kids um, not to get upset, just kind of let things, let things go. Um, so again, positional concepts, predicting um, like what color are peach shoes gonna turn, like what color do which strawberries turn your shoes. I have another like little question, where's Pete on the top or on the bottom? And again, be really enthusiastic and really silly. Like, did Pete cry? Goodness, no. My, the woman that interviewed me loved the enthusiasm, etc. Okay, so I think the, the song goes something like this. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. And get the kids clapping, wave Pete around, whatever you gotta do to get them interested. So this is the story, again, positional concepts, colors, um, what's the weather like, is it raining or is it sunny, when do you need an umbrella. Um, you might even want to have more visual choices so they can pick the right answer if you're working on receptive language. Um, okay, so I'm just flipping through the book here. Target whatever your language targets are, speech targets, go with it. just want to show you guys the whole story. I'm a musician, so I love the banjo. I play the violin, but love it. Almost done. Okay, so that was the whole book. Um, and then after I went through the book, then I said, okay, so now I told you the story. Now it's your turn to tell me the story. I need your help. I need you to tell me the story again. So here I'm, I'm working on story retail. And this is a lot to pack into one lesson. So again, you might wanna repeat this if you're seeing kids in therapy multiple times a week. Okay, so we could say, I would turn to the page and I said, who can remember? What did Pete have, what color were Pete's shoes in the beginning or something like that? And then I had a kid volunteer or pick on someone to put the white shoes on the board. Again, just Velcro, there's Velcro on the back of every uh, shoe. All right, so then I had to um, turn the next page. I said, what did Pete step in first? And okay, so then the next kid can pick up the strawberries and put the strawberries on the board. What color did the strawberries turn Pete's shoes? And you know, the next kid, can put on the red shoes and however you want to do it. One kid can put on the strawberries, another kid can put on the shoes, or one kid can do both, whatever works for you. Um, and that was basically it. Um, can, or you could do, can you find the match? Um, stuff like that. And then I kind of, at the end, 
I wrapped it up. Um, I asked every kid to go around and show me their shoes and tell me what color their shoes were. And that was basically it. And I thanked them all for being really good listeners and they all gave me hugs and high fives. So I think it was a win. This activity is a winner. And I love Pete the cat and I can't wait to work in the preschool. This is my, this is my age, I love it. I went from, I just finished uh, doing my externship in a hospital doing all geriatric swallowing. So I can't wait to run to my preschoolers. All right guys, um, have a good one. I hope this helped. And maybe I could even make something on Teachers Pay Teachers to go along with this activity if you guys are interested. All right, take care. Thanks guys. Thanks for all the encouragement and I can't wait to start my CFY.